All right, look here, y'all. I'm just getting straight to the point. Because I tried to make this video one time, but somebody had to fuck it up. Okay. I wasted all my god. I made the first video I made on this was about 35 minutes. I'm going to try to make this. I don't know how long this one's going to be because my patience is kind of short. Because somebody had to fuck it up. But anyway, point is, I got these Christians jumping in my comments, talking shit, talking about something. I'm going straight to hell, going to burn in Lake of Fire, which is fine with me because that's where I'm trying to go. Lake of Fire, that's some bullshit. Now, hell, what the Christians call hell, I'm trying to go there. If that's in the center of the earth, send me there to that motherfucker. Okay? Because we know, if anybody did any research, we know that, according to even in the Bible. See, y'all don't even read y'all Bible for real. Because in the Bible, it tells you in the book of Ezekiel, that Ezekiel saw these wheels coming out of the earth. Out of the earth, a.k.a. hell, what you Christians call hell. What y'all scared of more than any goddamn thing. And the only reason y'all believing in this Jesus fella and so-called loving him like y'all do, because y'all scared y'all going to burn in hell. Y'all love an entity that y'all don't know nothing about for real. Because y'all afraid y'all going to burn in hell. False ass love. But anyway, it tell you in the book of Ezekiel, or that all. Uh, Ezekiel saw these wheels coming out of the earth, and up on this wheel, he saw the Son of Man, who had the skin tone, a skin color as amber. So this God fella, the Son of Man, coming out of what y'all Christians call hell. Okay? So send me to that motherfucker. That's where I'm trying to go. Now, I'm going to try to make this video quick, because my patience ain't that good right now. Because there's always some fuckery going on when you're trying to drop a bomb on, on the bullshit. Anyway, that Holy Bible that y'all love so much, y'all think it's the pure word of God. You know, it tells you in the Bible, do not add from my word or take away from my word. But yet, as soon you open up the book, it say, diligently revised and altered. Meaning that that motherfucker was changed. They took their time and fucked it up. And why would a superior God, this magnificent deity God, Allow a motherfucking slave owner to translate his Bible. A racist, a bunch of racist motherfuckers interpretate his pure word, the pure word of God. Interpretate his word. Hmm. And yet, this guy did not defend his own word. He's supposed to be a, a all wise, do any type of thing, God. He could do anything. He created the sun just by saying, be and there it was let that be light in the sun which boom there it was but yet it say when it say in the bible where you christians think that man this book's so full of damn holes and contradictions that's why they call a motherfucker holy fuck because it's full of holes yet y'all christians are saying in the bible where it say god said let us make man and yet he needed help right there i'm pretty sure it's way harder to make a damn sun planets stars and shit than it is to make a man but yet he said let us make man Y'all will say that's Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and God the Father. A bullshit. The Bible only go back 6,000 years, right? But yet you got these twas, these pygmies, that have been known throughout history to be the oldest people on this planet. And we know that the pygmies date back to millions of years. So y'all can miss me with the bullshit. Yeah, miss me with it. That us, if anything, was talking about the twas, the pygmies, that made man in their image. Yeah. They the oldest people on the planet, right? And they predate the Bible, right? Yeah, think about it. Y'all ain't got common sense. Because the Bible does not allow common sense to sprout. That's why it wants you to believe. And then they'll say that was Jesus in the beginning and, 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 and he was already with God and shit but then when you look outside the Bible and go into other ancient texts like the Sumerian tablets you go into uh, the Tibetan book of the dead uh, you go into the Egyptian book of the dead which are actually books that have been compiled in the Bible that has been fragmented and pieced inside the Bible, the Rig Veda, the Bhagavad Gita, the Upanishads, the motherfucking Gnostic text, the goddamn um, Epic of Gilgamesh, 
All these different books have been incorporated in the Bible. That's why most of y'all that read the Bible don't know what the fuck you're reading. Okay? Because you're only reading a little piece of something that was taken out the damn out the, the book to, uh, the book itself that the Bible is presenting fragments of. <clears throat> so when you go inside the Sumerian tablets, right, they take you on planet Nibiru. You got all these gods. You got Asar. Actually, Asar is in the Bible too. That's an Egyptian god. But yet they come down on the um, Egyptians Christians do. But Asar is actually in there. In the Sumerian tablets, which date thousands of years before this 6,000-year-old Bible. Okay? That was diligently revised and altered by a bunch of racist motherfuckers. Hmm? So, you mean to tell me God inspired them, a bunch of racist motherfuckers, to translate his word? To be accurate? When is it supposed to be pure? The pure word of God? The Bible supposed to be that? If y'all believe that shit... Again, then again, the Bible doesn't allow common sense. It just wants you to believe. But nowhere in the Sumerian tablets will you find a Jesus. Because we even know, everybody know this shit that did any type of research. Just based off any, just research, Google this shit. His name couldn't have been Jesus 2,000 years ago. Because England wasn't even a colony yet. Therefore, the English language wasn't even thought of yet. They just established themselves like 500 years ago, maybe, some shit like that. So if the man was walking around today, the Yahshua being Pandora 2,000 years ago, he wouldn't know if you referred to him as that shit. He, would, he wouldn't, wouldn't even acknowledge you. Let's be real about this shit. Y'all calling on motherfucking Zeus. Hey, Zeus. That's where the shit really come from when the Greeks... Um, started they bullshit, interpreting, changing up shit. So when y'all calling on Jesus, y'all really calling on Zeus. Look it up. Hey, Zeus. Means hell Zeus. But y'all don't know that because you only read one book. One goddamn book. Be reading it all your life, don't know what the fuck you're reading. Because you haven't read the other books that actually complete the books or fragments of books that's in the Bible. Contradiction after contradiction in the Bible. It tells you that no man has seen God and lived. But yet when you go to the book of Judges, uh, Samson, Samson's mother and father, they was visited by a stranger. And the stranger, after visiting them, telling them that they would give birth to this child whom they shall name Samson, he went up on his chariot, a.k.a. spaceship or Merkab or whatever you want to call it. It was some type of craft. And after he went up, the mother and father of Samson said, we shall surely die because we have seen God. But yet the Bible said no man can live and see God. But did they live? Hell yeah, because they raised Samson to be a grown man. And then again, if you go to the book in the Exodus, Moses went up on Mount Sinai. And he sat with God face to face as a man speaking to his friend. But no man has seen God. The Bible is full of fucking contradictions. But it's supposed to be the holy and pure word of God. I'm just using common sense here now. And then... In the, in, the, in the Bible, it says, any man that is found with the slave in his possession shall surely be put to death. I ain't see one slave master put to goddamn death other than that Turner killing their ass and another bunch of black people that rebelled. But the majority of them was not put to death by this God in the Bible. And then in the Bible, in Deuteronomy, God turned around and go against his word and tell you um, how to govern your slaves. A law. He lays out a whole law on how to control your slaves lawfully through his word. That is supposed to be the pure word of God. But we know that it was translated and diligently altered by a bunch of racist motherfuckers that were slave makers. Huh? So it's really the motherfucking slave maker that you think is God. You're really serving your slave master. The motherfucking slave makers. That's who you're really serving. They just using God's name as a shield. Proof is in the in the, in the uh might be in Luke or it might be Mark. Anyways, in the New Testament, y'all know this verse I'm about to call out, where it says, "Slaves, obey your earthly master as you would your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ." Willingly making you a slave, but yet it said in the Bible again, "Any man that is found with a slave in his possession shall surely be put to death." The Bible is full of shit, and that's due to. The motherfuckers 
that y'all believe in unknowingly as your God tampering with the motherfucker and putting a whole bunch of cut in it. Then it tell you this in the Bible. It tell you that if your slave hit you on one cheek, I mean if your master hit you on one cheek, give it to him your other cheek. Willingly making you a slave. But then if you go to, to the Old Testament, say eye for eye, two for two, womb for womb, life for life. Contradiction like a motherfucker. But yet I thought you Christians said that the Bible was the holy and pure word of God. It is the word of God. What goddamn God? The slave makers. Yeah, that's your God for real. He's the puppet. He's the puppet master. Yeah. Using his God as a shield. The slave masters have hid themselves behind the curtain by putting God in front of you, putting the word God. That's all you niggas need is the word God and he got you. That's it. Just say the word God and he got you. Automatically you are got. Because you, the Bible doesn't deal with common sense. The Bible just deal with belief. There's no common sense in the Bible. How can a man just float in space with not a space suit, no trees out that motherfucker? And he bleeding and shit with holes in his hand. Okay? And then you got a God in the Bible killing another God in the Bible. Because Jesus, according to you Christians, is another God. He's God in the flesh. But then God come and sacrifice another God. And yet the Bible say, Thou shall not kill. But yet God is the biggest killer in the Bible. This shit don't even make no sense. That's parts in the Bible where God said, Kill every woman, man, and child. Kill them. Even told Saul that shit because Saul didn't do it. Saul was dethroned and David took his place. So God is a brutal murderer according to the Bible. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not lying on this God in the Bible. I'm not lying on the slave masters that interpret the motherfucker to use against y'all ass to keep y'all mentally blank, brain locked. Okay, it's in the motherfucker. I'm just revealing it. So if you got a problem with what I say, you got a problem with what your God said in the Bible, and you got a problem with some dead motherfuckers that was here by four, five hundred, three hundred, two hundred years ago. Don't come to me, pray to them motherfuckers and cuss them out for lying to y'all ass. Okay, I'm just pointing the shit out. Then I thought God was supposed to be the big coon. But then when you go to the uh, New Testament, it says like you can blaspheme against God, be forgiven. God's supposed to be big coon, right? You see what I'm saying? Jesus was supposed to be sent by God. And God was supposed to send the piece of himself inside Jesus and shit. Because even in the Bible, Jesus says, Not my will be done, your will be done. So that's somebody greater than he. But yet he's supposed to be in God in the flesh. No, that's a contradiction right there. Then it says in the Bible, you forget, like I said, you can be forgiven. That's in the Bible now. You, be, you can be forgiven if you blaspheme against God, the big kahuna. And you can be forgiven against the Son. Or Jesus, that is. But you can't be forgiven if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. Now, to me, this shit sound very suspect that the Holy Spirit is the big kahuna. Because you would think that <laughs> you can't be forgiven for blaspheming against the motherfucking, the God of them all, right? But the shit don't, they don't, that ain't when you use common sense. Or that shit don't make, it's not logic, okay? It don't make logical sense. But again, you Christians were never taught to use common sense. You were only taught to believe. The Bible is based off belief. Not common sense. Remember the book say, lean not into your own understanding. But yeah, you're supposed to have free will. This shit don't make no fucking sense. Contradiction after contradiction. Then God reneging in the Bible. Supposed to sacrifice another God, which supposed to be his son, his one and only son. Only begotten son, but yet the Bible say, ye are gods, children of the most high God, meaning more than one. So that we have another contradiction. But yet it's supposed to be the holy and pure word of God. More like the bullshit word of the slave maker. The motherfuckers and motherfucking uh, racist ass Caucasians that interpreted the Bible. That's more like it what it really is. Yeah, that's what it is. So... Where is the free will if you got you can't lean into your own understanding? Huh? So we just supposed to be zombies and puppets and programmed and you know, this is what just believe. You know, common sense is no longer available when you use the Bible. 
Science is no longer available when you use the Bible. They deem that as witchcraft, some, something bad against God. You know, God basically, he's, he's not into mathematics and science. Uh, basically, because you can't challenge it using it. You're supposed to believe. Huh? <laughs> Man. Did I fail to mention this? I don't know if I mentioned this or not. If I did, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Because I know I mentioned it in the first time before somebody had to come and fuck it up, the video. In the Sumerian text, they got Nibiru. Big ass mothership. With all these gods on it, you don't see no... The only person that ain't on that motherfucker is Jesus. Okay? And we know the Sumerian text predate the Bible by thousands of years. Okay? So, you got our law on that motherfucker, which is in the Quran, and um, the Muslim Islamic faith God, he on there. He wound up getting sacrificed in the, in, in the uh, texts or tablets, the Sumerian tablets. But he's on there. He make a big sacrifice for his brothers and sisters, which was heroic to me. And then you got a sorrow on there. Also, a sorrow is mentioned in the Bible. And you got Enoch. He's known as Niganzita in there, a.k.a. Thoth. Or uh, a Tahuti in Egypt. He's on there on the mothership. This big ass Nibiru, according to the Sumerian tablets, which predate the Bible by thousands of years. Again. And then you also got Inky, a.k.a. Yahweh on that bitch. They all chilling all these gods and shit. So most of these deities that's in the Bible are actually Anunnaki gods from, from Nibiru. So you got some gods in the Bible. You even got Enlil on the motherfucking, in, on the uh, Nibiru. You got Anu, the great god, on the Nibiru. Okay? You got all these different gods on Nibiru that's written about in the Sumerian tablets. But yet, then you got a God in the Bible that say, um, do not intermix with foreigners. We know this was another Anunnaki, a.k.a. one of these gods. Because even in the original text, the closest that you're going to get in some of the Hebrew and Aramaic texts, it tells you that in the Elohim said, let they be like. Elohim mean gods, plural, not a one God. Not a one. It's not one. Plural mean more than one. And this is talking about either the motherfucking Anunnaki or the seven major chakras which reside deities from different dimensions in them. Okay? It's either one or the other. Because in reality, there is no one God. Okay? This is why you got all these different damn gods coexisting on on Nibiru in the Sumerian tablets. If I'm lying, prove to me I'm lying. Oh, I'll go get the damn tablets on your ass. Shit, I got videos showing the shit. I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, yeah, I do got it. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. I know I got the tablets now. Because I'll go dig them up on your ass. But you Christians don't read number one book. And you automatically think it's the all of the all book. The all of the all. That was allowed by God that can do anything. That was allowed by God for a slave master, slave maker, a racist mother, a ra bunch of racist motherfuckers. Y'all believe that word to be the all of the all Bible book. It's supposed to be holy. But yet you got a bunch of low life, low vibrating. Nothing ass motherfuckers interpreting the word of God. I guess they was inspired by God to interpret the Bible, huh? To diligently revise and alter that motherfucker. Y'all mean tell me y'all believe God? There was the will of God for God to let these nothing ass motherfuckers interpret his Bible, cause mass confusion, and God already know what's going to happen. This is how you Christians view it. I don't view it this way. I'm talking about you Christians. I'm getting inside y'all mind and showing you your mind so you can see how fucked up it is. This how you Christians view it. God see everything. He know everything that's going to happen. So he allow evil. God is 100% pure. He don't allow evil. That's Satan doing. But yet God created Satan. God created every goddamn thing. And yet in the Bible, it tells you, I, the Lord, this is in the book of Isaiah now, chapter 45, I believe. I think it might be verse 11, but I know it's in the book of Isaiah. I, the Lord, 
cause good, I the Lord create evil. But yet y'all say God don't do nothing bad. He the one cause evil. It cause good. So he just chilling. According to you Christians now, even though I don't believe none of this shit. According to you Christians, he just sitting back, enjoying himself, um, making you think what's taking place is happening by just chance. But he automatically know this. So in so many words, y'all telling me God ain't shit. Because he allowed a bunch of nothing ass motherfuckers to interpret his Bible. His word, his holy word. That shouldn't be tampered with. It's supposed to be nothing added to it, nor taken away from it. According to the uh, New Testament, that's what it say. Do not add to my, to my holy words or take away from my words. Hmm. Contradiction after contradiction. Contradiction after contradiction. But yeah, y'all look at me and say, you going to hell for exposing the bullshit that y'all afraid to even think of challenging because y'all scared y'all going to go to hell. That's the only reason y'all believe in this Jesus any goddamn way. Y'all really don't love this damn Jesus. Y'all don't. You don't. You just using him for a comfort zone just in case it's a place called hell you won't go. You're doing it out of fear. You motherfuckers don't love Jesus. Shit. Never went nowhere spent time with the nigga. Never built a personal physical relationship. And then y'all want to get mad at children for having imaginary friends and shit. But your grown ass can have an imaginary friend. Get the fuck out of here. Closest thing you're going to find to Jesus is Simeon, Toko, Shaker Madu, Bamba. These were real people that walked on the earth in the physical manifestation on this third dimension. Shaker Madu, Bamba, Simeon, Toko, Simon, Kembangu, and there's a few more other dark hue, African melanated, natives to the planet or the soil on this motherfucker that really was about that Jesus Christ life that is presented in the Bible. Because can't then one of y'all show me the historical Yahshua being Pandora. The real Jesus, not the motherfucker that the slave makers gave to us. Anyway, the video is supposed to be longer than this because the first one I made was like 35 minutes till somebody came and fucked it up. And got my damn video deleted. Anyway, y'all got to look outside just one book. That book is not the all of the fucking all that goddamn Bible. It is not. But you can't tell these motherfuckers nothing. I mean not a goddamn thing. Nothing at all. Hey, if it ain't the King James Bible, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. That's why your ass ain't got no common sense right there. Stuck in a fucking box. Fucking box. All this fucking universe. All this fucking universe. Every goddamn universe everywhere. And y'all stuck in the goddamn box. Anyway, I'm tired of talking about y'all. I'm tired of talking about this shit. Hopefully I got major key points that will trigger something inside y'all Christians' brain cells to stop being just living off belief and learn the know in which the Egyptians presented, which is magic. Religious people want belief. Real people that really want to know, they're going to deal in magic, the esoteric field, and what the Egyptians brought. They're going to go inside the metaphysical deal cult. Motherfuckers that scared, they're going to deal with belief. Okay? They really don't want to know. So stay in your little comfort zone, go hide in the fucking corner, which is the Bible, and sit your scared ass down. And keep believing. With your none coming, none having common sense ass. Hey, no offense, but this is just what it is. The Bible doesn't teach common sense. It totally destroys common sense. Too many contradictions in the motherfucking. Y'all believe it's the word, pure word of God. Until then, may the slave masters continue to whoop y'all ass mentally and keep your brain locked in the Bible. Hopefully one day, goddamn, you can break the shackles in which that they have placed on your mind. Through the Bible, the slave makers using God as a fucking shield. Until then, rest, rest easy. Because that's what y'all niggas doing. Y'all damn sure ain't woke. Peace.